Hey friends, have you been thinking about starting to earn dividend income, but don't have tons of money to invest up front? Well, you'll be happy to hear that it's possible to generate dividend income even starting with a small investment of just $10,000. In today's video, I'll walk through different strategies from low to high risk that you can use to start earning dividends on a $10,000 portfolio. Whether you're just starting out or looking to grow an existing portfolio, dividend stocks and funds can provide a steady stream of passive income. The great thing is, you don't need a huge amount of capital to get started. Stick around as I break down a few methods ranging from safe dividend stocks to high-risk, high-reward picks. You'll learn how to tailor dividend investing to your personal risk tolerance. Let's dive right in and see how even a $10,000 investment could start generating regular dividend payments. First, we'll look at some more conservative options. These tend to have lower dividend yields but also less risk. One straightforward way to earn dividends is to simply buy shares of established, dividend-paying companies. For example, you could purchase stocks like Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, or Procter & Gamble. These companies have long histories of not only paying dividends, but increasing the dividend regularly over time. Coca-Cola, for instance, has increased its dividend for 60 consecutive years and has a current dividend yield around 3.21%. That means with a $10,000 investment in Coca-Cola stock, you'd earn about $321 in annual dividend income. Not a huge amount, but a good start from a low-risk, established company. Another option is to look at the S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats. These are S&P 500 companies that have increased dividends for at least 25 straight years. Companies like IBM, Walmart, and Coca-Cola are on this list. Let's say you invested the $10,000 in IBM, which has a 3.43% dividend yield. You'd earn approximately 343 per year in dividends from this dividend aristocrat. Again, not a huge income stream, but steady and reliable over time from a low-risk company. One way to mitigate some of the risk that comes with individual stocks is to invest in an ETF focused on dividend-paying stocks. For example, the SPHD ETF tracks 50 high-dividend S&P 500 stocks with low volatility. Currently, it has around a 4.5% dividend yield. With a $10,000 investment, you'd earn about $450 annually in dividend income from this diversified fund. Not huge returns, but a good low-risk way to gain dividend exposure. Now let's look at some approaches to earn higher dividend yields while accepting moderate risk. One strategy to target higher dividend yields is to invest in ETFs focused on specific sectors that tend to pay above average dividends. Certain sectors like real estate, utilities, and consumer staples tend to have higher dividend yields overall. You can target these areas through sector-specific ETFs. Real Estate Sector As mentioned previously, the real estate sector is known for having higher-yielding companies overall. The Vanguard Real Estate ETF, VNQ, tracks an index of real estate companies and currently has a yield around 4%. A $10,000 investment in VNQ could generate around $400 per year in dividends. Real estate stocks like data centers, cell towers, and warehouses offer attractive income. Utility Sector the utility sector is another segment with companies that typically pay steady higher dividends. This is because utilities generate consistent income from providing essential services like power and water. The Utilities Select Sector SPDR ETF XLU offers exposure to this sector. Top holdings with high yields include NextEra Energy, Southern Company, and Duke Energy. XLU's current yield is around 3.4%. Consumer staples sector. Companies in the consumer staples sector produce essentials like food and household products. These stocks tend to pay higher, reliable dividends supported by stable demand. The consumer staples sector SPDR ETF, XLP, owns companies like Procter & Gamble, Costco, and PepsiCo. XLP offers a yield around 2.5% today. Healthcare sector. The healthcare sector also contains many stocks with attractive dividend yields. An aging population and steady demand provide stability. For exposure, investors can use ETFs like the Healthcare Select Sector SPDR Fund XLV. Top dividend payers in healthcare include Johnson & Johnson, Merck and & Pfizer. In summary, taking a sector-based approach allows pinpointing areas of the market with above-average income potential to build a diversified, dividend-paying portfolio. All right, now for the riskier but more rewarding dividend strategies. Handle these with care and consult a financial advisor. Some individual stocks pay out very high dividend yields, which sounds enticing. However, yields above approximately 10% could signal risks or instability in the underlying company. For example, Altria Group, a tobacco company, has consistently paid out high yields around 8.9%. A $10,000 investment here would result in around $890 in annual dividends. Another example is Energy Transfer LP, an oil and gas pipeline company, 
which offers a yield around 8.4% currently. That would equate to $840 annually from a $10,000 investment. While yields are higher, both companies carry more risk. Be sure to diversify and watch these types of stocks closely. For the highest possible yields, you can look at the riskiest category. Stocks with yields over 10%. These extremely high yields typically signal financial instability in the companies. For example, Chicago Atlantic Real Estate Finance, a mortgage REIT, currently has a yield of 11.79%. Investing $10,000 here could generate around $1,179 in annual dividends. However, yields this high mean you're essentially getting paid to take on significant risk. Do not put all your eggs in this basket. As you can see from these strategies, the trade-off is clear. The less risk you take, the lower, but more stable, the dividend income. The more risk, the higher potential rewards. You need to decide what level of risk aligns with your investing style and goals. I recommend starting on the low risk end first while you build knowledge and experience. The key is diversification. Don't just pick one stock. Build a balanced portfolio combining multiple stocks, funds, sectors, and risk levels. This lets you earn dividend income from many sources while mitigating overall risk. And remember, only invest money you are prepared to lose. Nothing is guaranteed in the stock market. Do thorough research before investing. All right, friends, I hope this overview gives you some ideas on how to generate dividend income, even with a small $10,000 investment. What's your preferred strategy? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, do like and share this video so that more people will learn about how to generate dividend income from a $10,000 investment. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos for creating wealth, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.